It's lunchtime and I'm going to quickly make myself some Doritos Locos Tacos for these things. And honestly, I made them yesterday and they were fucking delicious. The only thing I needed to do or like change up was add more beef to the whole mix. Let's get the beef out real quick. There we go. That's what we need. We got some cheese for later. Um, we're making some more chicken in a bit. All right. So we're about to put, actually, I need to weigh this out because, you know, we're tracking calories now. All right. Let's take away about half of that. So how much is the full thing? Put that on there. Close this up and put this away. The next important ingredient in this is gonna be some Taco Bell seasoning. It was either this or the um, mild seasoning. So I'm gonna put that in there. Got this spatula right here. Chop it up, mix it in there. And I gotta cut up some tomatoes. So let's, uh, let's do that real quick. I have no idea how to cut tomatoes, but that is all we need. Good for now. Now we gotta get a bowl. Uh, this should work just fine. We need about 28 grams. It's not a lot of chips. It's only about like 12, 15, but that's fine because we're only getting it for some extra flavor. You know, the chips are not the primary goal. You know, the beef is, you know, we want more beef, but we're just adding the chips in there just to style it up and get some more flavor in there and just, you know, change it up a little bit. The beef is pretty much ready. Here's what we got so far. We got the chips, we got the beef. Now let's add some cheddar cheese, protein cheddar cheese. Actually, this is fat-free mild cheddar. And if we look at the Mac, we have nine grams per serving. You can see that nine grams per serving, 45 calories, two carbs, zero fat, perfect. Man, we are good to go. Look at this. Try it out for yourself. How many calories is this? Here's my phone. So this meal right here is a total of 50 grams of protein, 19 grams of carbs, and 21 grams of fat, which is fantastic for a total of 470 calories. Your own little homemade, you can't really see that. I'm gonna spill it everywhere. Taco Bell. I mean, you know, once I'm done with the chips, I am just gonna grab a spoon and finish off the rest. That's basically all I need. I do want to experiment. Oh, damn it. I'm making this into a, uh, a taco, burrito, tortilla thing. Trying that out. Rick, I know you want some, but you can't have any, man. It's almost 11. And this is like my first thing that I'm eating for the day. Next up, we have the chicken and rice situation. And the best chicken that I've ever made has been using an air fryer. Here we have, I already have it cut up. I already cut up most of the fat. So this is going to be chicken thighs. Not the chicken breast, not the other chicken whatever parts. No, just the chicken thighs. Cut off the fat, put it in the air fryer. We'll add some hot sauce mixing uh, seasoning. So earlier you saw me use the uh, Taco Bell seasoning. Right now we're going to be using a similar thing, but this time we're using Nashville hot wing seasoning mix. Now I have not tried the Nashville hot, so this is going to be new for us. But the whole concept of what I'm making is delicious so right here we have a little over 11 ounces of chicken thighs that is going to be a little over 60 grams of protein if i remember correctly i already put it in my fitness pal i'm not counting these uh, packets uh, i'm not weighing that out i'm just gonna pour it in there mix it up then i'm also gonna be making some rice i bought some like five minute rice i made it yesterday did not add enough water to the mixture uh, so it came out pretty undercooked slightly. It wasn't fluffy, it was still a little bit uh, hard. I have a very unfortunate feeling that this is gonna be very hot and very spicy. I think I got some in my eye, fuck. You gotta manhandle these things, you know? You gotta spread them around, move them, don't just shake them. Give it a nice little massage in there. You smell this, you smell it? Ricky, I swear to God, if you eat some of this, you're gonna be shitting yourself. You're gonna be having diarrhea, constipation. I might have to take you to the hospital. Oh no, I turned it off by accident. Shouldn't take long to reheat. It should be fine. 
Ricky, move, you're in the way. This is the rice that I bought. It takes about five minutes to cook in the microwave. I am gonna be making one serving, so I'm gonna be putting in half a cup. Ricky, move out of the freaking way, move. Go away. This should be about 45 grams, which is gonna be half a cup. That's, that is all I need. One cup of water, but I'm gonna add more than that because last time I had one, one cup, it was not cooked all the way. 170 calories, which is 38 carbs, and four grams of protein, no fat. So far for today, with the two meals that you've seen me eat, which is basically just the Taco Bell makeshift knockoff that I made, and this, chicken and rice that I'm about to make, total of 115 cal uh, not calories, 115 protein, 57 carbs, 43 fat. We're good to go, we're in a good pace. Now I'm only missing 115 grams of protein. More than likely, I'm gonna be getting about 60 calories from the Greek yogurt that I'm gonna be eating throughout the day, as well as an extra 25 from the protein shake that I still have to make and eat. I might double up on the protein shake and just have two. It is basically two o'clock. I am sleepy, I am tired. I've walked for uh, 10,000 steps. I don't know how many miles that is. I've walked all day on my walking treadmill that I have under my desk so I can just be active and moving instead of just sitting down on my butt all day. Uh, but I'm hungry again. I'm gonna make myself the protein shake that I was talking about earlier. And this one does get measured out. Technically, actually, no, it does not. The only thing that I measure out per se is how many grams of protein I'm taking with making this protein shake. So I just add it to my intake. The milk out, frozen berries. Let's get the protein. Oh, that's way too much milk. So this protein has 27, oh, 27 grams of protein. That is very impressive, I'm not gonna lie, 27 grams. There you go, a very nice protein smoothie, delicious. Somewhere between 130 and 140 grams of protein so far after I finish this. That means we only have 50 more grams of protein to take, which is gonna be filled up with something, the Greek yogurt that I still have to eat. Man, I'm hyped up, man, let's go, let's go. I'm outside of the gym and I am tired. I am exhausted. I am mentally out of it. I've had a very long day, but we're here at the gym regardless. It is, I believe, a chest day. No, no, that is wrong. A shoulder day with some triceps. Let me double check. It is a shoulder day. I, man, I need some energy. I was going to stop by McDonald's and pick up a vanilla iced coffee. That is usually my go-to, but that has way too much sugar and other stuff that's not really helping me. Uh, and the reason I do go get that is because it doesn't have that much caffeine. At least I don't believe so. But I do want to try out more of the pre-workout drinks that they have here. I've had one like two weeks ago. It, was, it wasn't my favorite to drink. But the effects, I had so much more energy. I was more focused. And that, exists, and that is exactly what I need right now. I need more focus. I need more energy. Hopefully I'm able to fall asleep tonight. If not... I do have melatonin at home. I don't like using it because then I'm tired and groggy trying to wake up in the morning more than usual. But yeah, let's go get this workout in. The gym is packed. There's so many cars here, especially for this time and on a Wednesday. And I gotta stop cussing, but it is a shoulder day. Right, what should I grab? I think this is the one I grabbed last time. Blue Bear Lemonade, yeah, we'll go with that. That energy drink, that energy. energy drink that I had earlier. I am wired. Let's see how many I can do. Not one. Let's do this one more time.
is the last set. For this exercise, at least, I'm going five pounds heavier. So instead of the 50s, I'm going with the 55s. So that wasn't muscle failure, that was exhaustion. And there is a difference. Oh. Man, I am really sweating my ass off right now. Holy shit. So the 20s were too heavy for me because I was unable to hold it at the top. So I was able to go there and immediately come back down. I'm going lighter so I can go up and control it on the way down. Easier. We go just like that. One. be light cool that is taking so long to focus what is going on anyways the pre-workout drink that i drank when i got here oh my god that was one strong drink let me tell you i drank it i started talking to the front desk guy pretty cool guy he's a screenwriter and i was getting to know him a little bit more as i drank this and, it, and i think we talked for about 45 minutes I had 30 minutes for it to kick in after I finished drinking it. Oh my God, did I just have the most intense, most focused workout I have ever had. And I mean that, especially on a shoulder day. Usually on shoulder days, I'm not feeling that great. I feel like this workout for shoulders isn't that amazing, but oh my God, I switched around the workouts. I had a great pump going on. I was lifting some heavy stuff. I, I was all in, man. I'm out of energy. like. I'm hungry, out of energy, but I honestly, if I could just get a little bit of sugar, I could keep going. I could keep going for another two or three hours, but I'm not gonna do that. I have to go home, I'm gonna edit a video. I don't know what else I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna do some reading, but as you can see, I'm talking like a million miles or a million words a mile. I don't know what the saying goes, but I gotta go get some food. Well, I'm not going to go get some food. I'm gonna eat some food that I have at home. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. Maybe I won't eat anything. I'll just hop in the shower and go to sleep or attempt to go to sleep. I, I doubt that I'm going to be able to go to sleep. So I might take some melatonin. I don't know. Man, I'm pumped up. I'm hyped up. I'm ready to go. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. That's, let's go to tomorrow. That's, I don't know. I don't know what else I'm going to do. Man, I'm hyped up, man. Let's go. Let's go. Home right from the gym. And like I said already, I am pumped up. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to do this do that and because i was talking to the front desk guy i forget his name actually i don't think i ever knew his name no i didn't know his name anyways because i talked to him for so long i completely forgot to train my calves and i'm lying i didn't completely forget i thought about it but i was like you know what i might be in a time crunch because of how long i spent talking to him i should just get into my shoulder workout and see where the time takes me but at the end of the workout, I was, I was I was already exhausted. I didn't get to my calves, which is why I always train calves first. It's over, the first thing I try to do because, you know, you will never be tired after you train calves, but you will be tired after you train your, your main muscle groups to train calves at the very end. Train calves at first, and that way you're not tired to do the rest of your workout because if you wait, to train your calves at the end of your workout, you're going to be tired and you're gonna skip them. And if you want bigger calves, train them first. Train them first. They don't take up that much energy. Trust me, they do not. Train them first. Nobody's ever on any of the calf machines, so you never have to wait. You never have to wait. So train them first and then do your actual workout. Be intense, be effective, and train with intent. Like actually do the work, especially for your calves if you want them to grow. Now, 
watch this video right here that is popping up somewhere on the screen if you want to know the biggest mistakes that I see when I see people training calves.